Aspartame has been one of those buzzwords used by social media health gurus. It's also one of the most misunderstood food additives. There's a lot of lies and outright misinformation that's out there going around about it. And frankly, aspartame is about as safe as anything else it is that you eat, and just about as safe as anything else it is that you breathe. The most common claim is that it causes cancer. The truth is, there's very little evidence for that. Repeated studies have shown that artificial sweeteners do not cause cancer. One large meta-analysis published in the International Journal of Cancer showed that the only risk with artificial sweeteners is consumption alongside diabetes. Use of artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, cyclamate, saturine, sucralose is widespread. We evaluated the association of use of aspartame with other artificial sweeteners with cancer. In some cancers, the number of cases in participants with diabetes were small and results should be interpreted cautiously. We did not find associations between use of artificial sweeteners and cancer, but found associations between high consumption of aspartame and other artificial sweeteners in different cancer types among participants with diabetes. I know what some people are going to say. The World Health Organization listed it as a possibly carcinogenic. Yes, but you need to know what that means and what the WHO is actually saying when they say that. The IARC classified aspartame as a possibly carcinogenic to humans group 2B on the basis of limited evidence for cancer in humans, specifically for hepatocellular carcinoma, which is a type of liver cancer. There's also a limited evidence for cancer in experimental animals and limited evidence related to the possible mechanisms for causing cancer. JECFA concluded that the data evaluated indicated no sufficient reason to change the previously established acceptable daily intake of 0 to 45 milligrams per kilogram of body weight for aspartame. The committee therefore affirmed that it is safe for a person to consume this within the limit per day. For example, with a can of diet soft drink containing 200 to 300 milligrams of aspartame, the adult weighing 70 kilos we need to take in or consume about 9 to 14 cans per day to exceed the acceptable daily intake, assuming no other intake from any other food source. I'm sure some of you have claimed that this classification of potentially carcinogenic basically means that it is, but you need to know what group 2B classification actually is. It means there's limited evidence in humans, less than sufficient evidence in experimental animals. This means there's less risk for cancer from artificial sweeteners than there is from red meat, fumes from high temperature frying food, and working night shift. There's no real reason to fear artificial sweeteners. Most of the information put out by it is from people who don't understand the classification or what it means. They think there's some kind of conspiracy to tell you, to convince you to get something that will intentionally give you cancer, or usually it's by someone who has a so-called natural product that they're trying to sell you as a substitute for this, and it's usually it's some overpriced, completely hypocritical nonsense that contains things that they're telling you are bad anyway. So yes, aspartame and other approved artificial sweeteners are just fine. They're completely okay. Just don't be, go crazy about it. Just do it in moderation. The same thing that you would do with alcohol or anything else. If there was really anything to be worried about, it would be refined white sugar that you would worry about. That actually is harmful in even moderate doses. So artificial sweeteners are just fine. And frankly, they don't taste as good as regular sugar, and that's a valid criticism of them. But if you're looking for a substitute and you don't mind the taste, just don't go overboard and you'll be just fine. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.